This is section 9.1, graphing polar coordinates. To this point, you have graphed equations in a rectangular coordinate system. When air traffic controllers record the locations of airplanes using distances and angles, they are using a polar coordinate system, or polar plane. In a rectangular coordinate system, the x and y axes are horizontal and vertical lines respectively, and their point of intersection O is called the origin. The location of a point P is identified by rectangular coordinates of the form XY, where X and Y are the horizontal and vertical directed distances, respectively, to the point. For example, the point 3, negative 4 is 3 units to the right of the Y axis and 4 units below the X axis. In a polar coordinate system, the origin is a fixed point O called the pole. The polar axis is any initial ray from the pole, usually horizontal and directed toward the right. The location of a point P in the polar coordinate system can be identified by polar coordinates of the form R theta, where R is the directed distance from the pole, in other words, R is the distance from the pole, to the point, and theta is the directed angle from the polar axis to OP. So you have a radius and you have an angle. That locates a unique point. To graph a point given in polar coordinates, remember that a positive value of theta indicates a counterclockwise rotation from the polar axis, just like the unit circle, while a negative value indicates a clockwise rotation. If R is positive, then P lies on the terminal side of theta. If R is negative, P lies on the ray opposite the terminal side of theta. Graph each point. So letter A is two units from the pole at 45 degrees. So we go to 45 degrees, or pi over 4, and then go 2 units from the pole. So there is point A. Point B is negative 1.5 units from the pole at 2 pi over 3. So uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Each of these is worth pi over 12. So pi over 3 is right there. 2 pi over 3 is right there, but we're going to go, instead of going 1 and a half along 2 pi over 3, we're going to go 1 and a half in the opposite direction. So there's 1 and a half along uh, 2 pi over 3. So this is point B. Find four different pairs of polar coordinates that name the point T if theta is between negative 360 and 360. So this right here, this angle is 3 pi over 4 if we're going in the positive direction. So our first point can be, and remember it's always r theta, uh, the radius is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we can have 3 pi over 4. What if we went, instead of 3 pi over 4, what if we went negative pi over 4, so negative pi over 4 this way, and then go in the opposite direction? So we could, go, we could go negative 5 and negative pi over 4. What if we went all the way to the angle going in the negative direction? So this would be negative 4 pi over 4, negative 5 pi over 4. So negative 5 pi over 4, and then go 5 units along that angle. And then another one, you could go uh, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and then go in the negative direction. So we could go negative 5, negative 7 pi over 4. Graph each polar equation. This says the radius must be 2. So we could have a radius of 2 and be at 0. We could have a radius of 2 and be at pi over 4. We could have a radius of 2 and be at pi over 6. So we could go to 2 and have this point, we could have this point, this point, this point, all of the points that are in this circle with a radius of 2. So to graph r equals 2, it's just a circle with a radius of 2. So there's the equation right there. Now with the equation theta equals pi over 6, all you need is to have the angle be pi over 6, and it can be any radius. So that's going to be a line. So we're it's a line along pi over 6. And it extends in both directions forever. So there's the equation theta equals pi over 6. Polar distance formula. If we have point 1 and point 2 are two points in the polar plane, 
then the distance P1, P2 is given by. Uh, this is really the law of cosines. An air traffic controller is tracking two airplanes that are flying at the same altitude. The coordinates of the plane are 5, 310 degrees and 6, 345 degrees, where the directed distance is measured in miles. If regulations prohibit airplanes from passing within three miles of each other, are these airplanes in violation and we need to explain? So the distance between the two is equal to the square root of, we have R squared, R1 squared plus R2 squared. So in this case, that's going to be 25 plus 36, where this is R1 and this is R2. Then we minus 2 times R1, which is 5, times R2, which is 6, and then we have the cosine of 345 minus 310. So then we have the cosine of 35 degrees. The degrees, uh, the difference between the two is 35. Let's grab the calculator. Let's grab a calculator and we're going to do, uh, let's do 25 plus 36 minus 2 times 5 times 6 and then times the cosine of 35 and I'll make sure we're in degree mode. We are in degree mode. So we'll press enter and then the square root of that answer which is 3.443. So the distance is 3.443. Uh, this is going to be in miles and uh, regulations within three miles. Uh, are these airplanes in violation? No. They are more than three miles apart. There we go.